Hello everyone, welcome to a new game. This is Trine, a RPG platforming puzzle hybrid type game. We're going to play it now. Don't mind the slave saw it, that was just a uh, test to see if I can record it. So, I'm going to play on medium. Now it's story time. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away... A kingdom was prospering, but peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Okay, so I'm a thief and I'm going to the Astral Academy. wonder what they teach there. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay, usual movement. I can jump pretty high for a person, I would say. Okay. Jump on that. And completely miss my jump there. I have a feeling that's how this is going to go. Me sucking at platforming. There, I jumped on at that time. You know, I would think for a thief I would want to wear black, not white and red. But, I guess to each their own. Grappling hook! Wow! Uh, I. Thought I can go back there and do something else, but whatever. And I got a little bow and arrow. Pew! Pew! Okay, so. Looks like that's my two options. I have grappling hooks and arrows. And now I'm in here trapped. You missed me. You were a little late. That one, you were a little early. Okay, let's see if I can get over this this way. And I can. Not too bad. Yeah, let's see. It's a rock that's shaped like a fist. I know how this goes. Okay, sh sh nope, that's not going to do anything. I knew it. Never trust fist-shaped rocks. Because all they're in for it is to fist you. Literally. Just ask Mario. He deals with falling rocks all the time. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Why would you have a shrine to ancient treasure? Usually a shrine's to, like, a god or something. Unless they worship treasure. Maybe that's what they did. Hey, it's like the end of every RPG ever. Open the chest. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, 
she had a tingling sensation. Yeah, electricity will do that. She would discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. Ugh. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass. Too much seen booze. The terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Okay, and if you were swearing by your trousers, you shouldn't do that. You don't have any already. You lost them. Let's look through that. Or not. Okay. So I got levitate. Oops. What's wrong one? Levitate to me. See if I can put that up there. Ooh, actually, wait, can I... Are those potions I can get? Get off of there. Not that one, can I... Yes, I can! Sweet! I've got a potion. And a blue potion, which I don't know what that does. There we go. Out of the way. Making a mess of everything. And one more potion for good measure. Get out of here. Oh, no. Don't fall on me. I have a box for a head. And one more ought to do it. There we go. I can actually leave my castle, tower, whatever it is. Draw a square. Oh, literally. Cool, so I can... Can I only get one out, or is there more? Let's see. Okay, yeah, so I can only get one at a time. What if I put it there? Okay, that's not too hard. Get my potion here. Oops, no. Let's move you over here to get that other potion. I see. Actually, and... Anything of it. Oh, yes, there is. Another potion, and can I levitate the potions? Let's. No. I can levitate this down to give it to me. The wizard saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine. No one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. So, wait, so am I at the same academy and. If I was supposed to guard that, I kind of failed at my job here.
More hordes of treasure. Hello, mm. thief. My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? Magic? For once, the You're wizard, a wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. But Between I thought the king was you, dead and there wasn't any. He did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. And the knight felt the it his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. You mean kind of like a thief, a wizard, in a chamber of treasure. Not doing so good there, man! Okay, so... Hit things with swords. And then block. I think I got that. Okay, I can't go that way. Just making sure. Man, I look out of shape to be a knight, and I bust through that, proving that I'm out of shape. Actually, let me get another potion here. Oh, there was one down there, too. I'm going to get ya. Don't know why I need ya, but I guess there's 50 in this level for something. All right. There we go. All the roof falling in. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on? Yep, I would definitely say this guy is dense. Knight saw a faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. So he's kind of like the soldier in Team Fortress where he wouldn't be accepted to war. So he made his own. Made his own oath, made his own badges. What's going on? The knight joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. And thus the game ended. No. That's not how it works. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, who 
whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. Okay. It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure. Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object, the trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... <laughs> the thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape. Hopefully with the treasure and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. Okay, so that allows us to change characters. Well, I think that is a uh, good little introduction for the first episode. So I'm going to end it here. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.